Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever the world you happen to be, Crowville here, and uh, this is my second advanced edition easy tutorial guide. Uh, this time we're going to focus mostly on boarding, and so the first boarding ship you tend to unlock is going to be the Mantis A, so let's go ahead and start with that. Alright, we got pheromones, we got advanced edition and everything enabled, uh, let's just get going. Okay. So, assuming you've watched the first part, we don't really have to go over our role positions too, too much. Uh, primarily, this is to focus on boarding strategy. So, first thing, we want to put our two Mantis in the teleporter. All right, we got a Mantis here in piloting, and we got the NG here on engines. Let's go ahead and save those positions. Uh, so, boarding is a different beast. Uh, there's a lot of different micro that goes involved with it. Uh, that you have to do, as well as kind of weapon loadouts are a little bit different. Uh, bombs and missile weapons are actually really strong with most boarding ships uh, because you really only need them to temporarily disable a system, uh, particularly weapons, so that you can be safe in a fight and then use your crew to take out their crew and earn rewards. Uh, which this ship starts with a small bomb, which is fantastic. It's one of the best boarding weapons in the game. Uh, Breach 2 is a little bit stronger just because it deals three damage. Uh, so that will always break piloting, uh, any of the medical units. Uh, three damage to weapons is pretty sizable amount of damage to those. But two damage from the small bomb, that's fine. Also one power. It's excellent now. Uh, this ship does have a, a few things with it that uh, are a bit of a challenge. One, we don't start with sensors, so we can't see exactly what we're boarding into. So that can be a little bit scary, because uh, it could be nasty fights. So we're just going to be have to micro our best. Plus, we have to spend 40 scrap to go ahead and upgrade our weapons. Not the biggest deal. Uh, we do have a tendency to generate a lot of money. Uh, Two of the things that are worth considering, though, in terms of uh, overall aspects of the ship to is, um, sorry, aspects of the ship uh, to ponder, perhaps. One is that we have three weapon slots. Uh, most ships have four, but this one has three. It also only comes with two drone spots. So three weapon slots is a pretty big detriment. Um, it makes it much tougher to transition this ship into a weapon ship. Uh, particularly because we're going to be relying on small bomb to such a degree. So essentially we have like two weapon spots open to try and do, you know, like weapons uh, to shoot down enemy ships. The other thing is the layout on the ship isn't particularly great. Uh, if we get hacky, it, it takes a long time for crew to run anywhere on this ship. And um, if certain rooms get hacked say like engines or doors like or uh, piloting here it's a uh, difficult for our crew to get from one part of the ship to the next all right again because we're in easy mode we start at 30 scrap gonna go ahead and upgrade shields get a buffer point in that system uh our weapons are, are actually fine for a pretty long period of time particularly if we're able to get uh, to hacking like if we just get hacking small bomb and this teleporter here i feel very comfortable to get to at least sector five or sector six uh, without any additional boarding support. Um, so the, the real big goal is just to get enough crew to continuously be able to board the enemy ship, get hacking to give us some viability, and tank up. Outside of that, something to deal with Zoltan shields, and uh, go from there. Asteroid field, not great. All right, so they got a mini beam, basic laser. Let's go to go ahead and we're going to aggressively board. Now they should have crew. It's priority to weapons or shields. We're going to go engines. Okay, so it's shields and piloting. So by boarding here, we actually, this crew member walks through and gets double tapped. So we get a gain on them. This crew is a little bit of an issue because uh, they're mantis, but that's okay. Again, we, we want the NG in this position here in case things hit, uh, the NG can go and do repairs. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and do a swap out with our crew. Swapping out crew is uh, particularly important when dealing with boarding strategies. Because uh, you want to, you have to be really mindful of maintaining your crew's health. 
Okay, basic laser. Uh, okay, fire. Unfortunate. That's okay. NG's got this on, on lockdown, and we've almost won these fights. Nice. All right, got 29 bucks. So normally when a fight's over, we're able to beam our crew back. We can't do it right now because we're in a hazard. Uh, their health is okay. Uh, we do have to be concerned about health with outside influences, such as asteroids slamming into them, but that's only 15 points of damage. Or, uh, say, like, weapons from enemy ships, fires, etc. All right, we don't need the bomb anymore. Let's see if we can get away with healing our crew here. It's best to have them on full health. It's, uh, it's imperative to maintain full health on your crew, uh, particularly when boarding. You don't want to give the... Uh, Mantises will win most of the fights that they're engaged in. Um, so, but lowering their health kind of evens out the odds. Best to avoid. Distress beacon. Uh, actually, teleporter gives us a couple blue options, so we might go there. But we'll take an empty jump first, perhaps. Uh, investigate. Quest marker on the map. Okay. Go ahead and get that second shield online. We can depower these two systems if we need to. There we go. Two shields. Much, much safer now than what we were. Uh, give them two fuel. I normally like to have about 14 fuel. But this dips us down to 11. That's fine. Uh, this can reward us with a map, perhaps even a reactor upgrade, a lot of scrap. Chain burst laser. Okay. So Chain Burst Laser, I'm not a particular fan of. It's two shots at, like, 16 seconds. It does speed up as it goes along, but predominantly first volley is the most important volley. However, it does sell for, like, 32 scrap if we want to go that route, and it gives us uh, potentially something to just take down Zoltan Shields, at least help us in that regard. So that's fine. Well worth the two fuel. Kind of want to make my way over to the uh, Nebula Beacons. Uh, so if you see the first video, you kind of know about s sector routing, but we can go over it here again. Normally, you want to route through a sector so that you're adjacent to every single beacon so you know where the stores are in case you need to get repairs or you're looking to buy stuff. Uh, civilian sector, there's going to be one to two. Uh, we could hop through these Nebula Beacons to gain a lot of extra jumps in the sector. That's normally what I'm a fan of, and I'm not really looking for improvements outside of, like, getting hacking. But getting a lot of money early is really beneficial. Uh, early sectors in FTL are the toughest. Okay, so auto ship happens. Can you go ahead and move crew there? Now we're completely safe. Again, we already got our two shields, so this is fine. So we'll just crack their shield system here with our small bomb. It's worth it. Hopefully. And then we just switch to basic laser. Go ahead, put it on auto fire. Since we're not concerned about their weapons, we just make sure that their shield is down so that we're not wasting more bombs to kill it. A lot of FTL is, you know, getting by with what you have. This is slow. It's uh, it's a little bit awkward. It's not, it's not particularly fancy shooting an enemy ship down with a basic laser, but it does get the job done, and that's the most important part. And we are slightly speeding up by putting the mantis there. Take the crew back. 24 scrap. All right, no store. Let's go ahead and upgrade reactor. While I wouldn't typically do this on harder modes, uh, it's probably going to make it feel a little bit more comfortable if your power is at the like easier levels for you to manage. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and attack the pirate. Ah, yes, no Zoltan shields in Sector 1. That's pretty nice. All right, so pretty straightforward. They don't have a med bay. We can just board with impunity. Again, there's going to be crew in the shield. So I actually want to board 
Let's board engines. If the engine room is here, then we'll get a couple free hits on them. So Zoltan and an NG. All right, pretty safe fight. We are doing 1.5 times combat damage. This crew member's doing half, and this crew member only has 70. Yes, when it explodes, it deals 15 damage, but... Again, we're at 46 health here, and we drop the NG, no problem. All right, 17 scrap and an ion blast. That's really good taking down Zoltan's shields. Okay. So we don't need power to the um, med bay unless we have crew there. So, you know, don't power it. Didn't even need a small bomb. Uh, okay, so there's a store. One, two, three, maybe four. We have a couple things we could potentially sell. There, there we go. Teleporter blue options, Caldwell, and 26 bucks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move this Mantis to doors. Um, we want the Rock to be our pilot. Rocks are arguably the second best pilot in the game. Uh, 150 health, immune to fires, so they don't move, need to move, right? Like they can fend off bo most borders without any real issue. And you want your pilot to stay put. They can do that. Plus, that gives us a couple blue options. It's always nice. One, two. Auto ship. Teleport to board directly into the stations or fight it. Okay. So, we kind of have an option here of, like, whether we just want to teleport directly in or fight the ship. I'm going to go ahead and fight the ship. Um, it's going to take a couple bombs. We're going to want to hit one in the weapons and this one somewhere else. I'm kind of banking on that we're going to be relatively safe. So, small bomb. Let's get this missile offline first. Put crew in shields, because we can just train them on shields. We're putting this crew member here, just in case we do have to do repairs at some point. Okay, it's Alito. Not surprising. I think uh, ships with drone control in the first two sectors can only have Alito, no Artemis. Okay, that's hitting. We've already crossed the shield threshold. I have two crew there. Perfect. Miss. It's okay. Empty room, but it did cause a breach. We're going to go ahead and have the Mantis start fixing that. It's not very good at repairs. It does half the repair speed of a normal person. NGs do it two times, but they're not doing anything else right now. Wow, the double miss. Just going to pop in and make sure that's not on fire. This is taking us way more missiles than I had anticipated it taking. Okay, we got a dodge. All right, next we need to bomb their shields. So our two shields are good enough to deal with this. It's not actually a concern. They're getting kind of low on health. Let's go ahead and move them here and get healed. All right. Switch to the basic laser. Um, if we were low on bombs and we were low on missiles, I would have just tried, or sorry, low on bombs and low on hull. Um, I would have just attempted to teleport, get the option, and go. Okay, so we hit here once. And now we should really be concerned with just hitting this missile as soon as it's uh, put together or when it's repaired. I think it's like four repairs, so we're actually going to wait. There it is. Go ahead, fix it. Fix. Oh, it was on fire. That's why it was slightly delayed. So we're just going to shoot systems as they're repaired. Because it, it, uh, the game continuously repairs it. So if you destroy a system, like if you shoot a system that's completely broken, but it's almost fixed, it doesn't reset the repair. So then it gets back online. It's not what we want. All right, now it doesn't matter because the next shot is a kill. Got some dodge training, though, which is always nice. All right. 14 scrap, and we get a map. Uh, map isn't particularly great, but 
Let's open up all the interior doors so we can get O2 back into this room as fast as possible. Heal up our crew, get them back to where they're supposed to be. Oh, uh, you notice I put the crew member here in doors. Uh, that way we have level two doors. It makes it harder for the enemies to move about our ship. One, two. Yeah, I still think I'm going to prioritize getting to that store versus messing out with these beacons. Potentially fuel, potentially hacking. There's a couple upgrades we could get. Uh, this is unfortunate. It's going to warn the rebels that we're coming. That's not great. Actually... All right, shield one there. This weapon's potentially annoying. Let's see what they hack, though. They're hacking my shields. Okay. It's a level one hack. Nah, there's no point in even going into that room now. <sighs> also, I should be charging my bomb, not my laser. That's a massive mistake. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and hit piloting instead of the bomb here, which is taking too long, so it's an ion bomb. If that hits us in the weapons, they're just getting away. If that hits us in the shields, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Um, I would have preferred to hit this and then rotate over to here. Like, that's normally ideal. Uh, unfortunately, like, them getting away doubles the fleet pursuit. Oh, they got the dodge. If we don't fully break uh, either of these systems, the FTL just keeps charging. Okay. Good dodge. Pff, I kind of want to break weapons. They're so scary. It is possible for a level one hack to take down two shields. So we'll get that. So yeah, we're using a lot of bombs here. It's fine. Well, it's not the best, but... Uh, it's just unfortunate we ran into... What's it, what, our third auto ship already? Hit the engines. Oh, good. Level, only level one engines. All right, so they're not going to be able to get away then. So yeah, it, when ships are running away, it's difficult to know what to prioritize. Like, hey, we have to stop them from running away, but if this hits us in the weapons, then our weapons don't fire. Um, I bank on trying to take off their uh, evasion first. Uh, yeah, there's a chance their weapons hit your weapons, but you know, if one of your shots is gonna land, like stop them from being able to run away, which also stops them from being too, able to evade. Hopefully your next shots get in there first. That's also a good reason though. It's something I typically don't do myself. So feel free to also not do it. Um, staying pretty far ahead of the rebel fleet in sector one, like give yourself an extra jump, so to speak, in terms of the, the fleet pursuit. So it's that much harder for, so if you do get stuck in a situation where their jump doubles, you're not, in a bad position. 11 bucks. All right, do one back. I know we're maybe operating lower than like one reactor than you're used to, but often like we're not going to be using all of our systems. Two shields will keep us safe, so we may not even need engines operational. Um, as I said, I typically wouldn't even have bought this reactor upgrade to maintain uh, having enough money for the store, but... We typically have some scrap to burn. Heavy laser one. Heal bomb, another chain laser, more crew. Well, I don't really want more crew. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, we upgrade this, and then again, we have 16 bucks left. So we could ditch this, ditch that buy the heavy laser and go um that would give us quite a few weapons to deal with shields this takes so much more to get going 
Uh, I don't, I don't really want to pick up crew. A, we've already picked up crew. We still have, like, the ultimate borders. It's going to be a while, maybe a little while before I do upgrades to, uh... Maybe a while till I do upgrades to here. All right, let's get to at least a level two. So I now have some options. I know, again, I'm still light on power. I typically play pretty low light on power. I know I don't really want to try and hit a second store. So now we have options. This is going to be a lot easier to kill auto ships once we get the chain laser online for 25 scrap. And then, like, in those instances, then we're not even teleporting. It was unfortunate that was another that was another store. It kind of messed up my uh, trajectory to get out. Well, geez, give me a drone. <sighs> All right, let's go to the store. Normally, I wouldn't want to, but I mean, I got this item that I can sell. Twenty-five bucks, seventy-four. I guess I can sell pheromones. I'm not sure why I kept pheromones. I should have sold pheromones to get those online. Forgetting things. Yeah, we sell pheromones. Um, we just don't need them. They're not really super beneficial to us. Let's go get head, get hacking. Let's buy two drone parts for that. Nice. Okay, if we count dashes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we see that there's seven parallel dashes. As long as we got six, this is a completely clean jump. It's not a dive. So we can get this beacon, then go here. And we're gonna prioritize getting some reactor. Explore the asteroid field. We could take some damage from it. I'm gonna risk it. We have plenty of haul to try. Not a lot of outcomes hurt us. Wow, they got hacking and drones and in an asteroid field, fun. All right, so first we gotta figure out what they're hacking. Boy, they're pirates. This is, uh, this is potentially a nasty fight. Um, we could keep up the heavy laser. Drop the small bomb, because the asteroids will hopefully take their shield down for us, leave our oxygen up. Uh, we'll go ahead and move the mantis there. Nope, it's getting hacked. Okay. So they don't have a med bay. Let's see what they do have. Okay, they got a rock and a mantis. Terrifying. All right, let's move to another system. And they got a repair bot. Jeez. And they have a second mantis. Okay, so this is really bad. Like, they actually can easily fend off our borders. And they have... Uh, with the three crew they have, plus they have a repair bot that's going to fix things for them. Um, sometimes this happens. All right, let's put the other mantis towards over here. <sighs> Hacking may be the right call. Nah, I not yet. The reason I don't quite. No, no, let's do that. Like, while I may be comfortable with it, if you're, like, you need some help, you need a little bit of help. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some assistance. Sorry, so let's fire the drone, and we're going to wait to see that try and shoot the drone as such. And then we turn off the drone part, and we turn it back on. All right, so now at least I have this room. I'm even going to hack it down so that doesn't fire. I'm going to put my two mantis in there to break that room. Gonna go ahead and upgrade our O2. All right, so now we don't have a basic laser. Two shields are good enough for the asteroids. It's not a problem anymore. Okay. So the rocket coming in, the mantis is coming in. And uh, I mean, as much as I'd like the training, what I should have done is move the rock over here. Okay, let's switch them out because this crew members on less health and the mantis hits way harder than the rock does. Also, let's uh, save ourselves a little bit of time 
and change what order. Okay, you go out, you go out, you go in, and then you go in, so that the rock only has to get to that square, and we can just get out of here. Also, I totally forgot about the heavy laser. Wow, this is like a really tough fight early. That's okay. We're gonna go into the shield room. So it's nice if we do this, the AI prioritizes defending the shields. So this crew member's gonna go defend the shields and the one that's already locked in this room. So we're able to kill them without any issue. All right, we'll just leave them here because we win this fight. If you want to, you can move them to a different room. So like I said, the AI is always gonna try to defend off this room. All right, 20 bucks. That was fun. All right, let's move all four of them into the same room. It's the easiest way to get them back. Um, so we can teleport four, even though this is a two-person teleport. But just to kind of showcase, um, let's move that crew member there, and then that crew member there. Now they're all in the same room. So it can even, uh, as long as they're just in the same room, good enough. So yeah, a lot more moving parts to uh, boarding. Sometimes the best solution um, is to pull your crew back and other times the best thing to do is to send more in. Um, I could have been fine probably like just running my crew around, but giving you this door control here is just so much safer. It makes sure that this weapon's offline so we don't have to do, we, we, can, we don't need the power in our engines and that we have a place to just put our crew to help keep them safe. That's one of the, that's really the biggest benefit of uh, hacking for boarding is that we get control of doors and essentially it creates a room on their ship that we control. Continue. And I bought drone parts just so we had drone parts. All right, well, we're not going to an abandoned sector. Uh, that's a bad time for us uh, because a lot of those ships don't have oxygen on them. Uh, it is possible to win in those scenarios. I mean, we could just shoot them and get a lot of money, but let's just go to a pirate sector instead. That seems uh, more sensible. If we did get stuck with that, then we really would prioritize getting these weapons online and then just using them. Uh, store. I don't care too much about the early store. So we'll take these beacons up here, try to make some money. Then go through the rest of the sector. It's a pulsar. All right, pulsars. This is how pulsars work. Pulsars hit two systems, okay? If you have any power in your shields, like if you just have a lone Zultan in your shield room, it will hit your shields 100% of the time. And then a random system. If you have no power in your shields, then it will hit two random systems, which may, may include your shields. Now, the other part to consider is that the amount of ion damage that a pulsar deals to your system is equal to the amount of power in it plus two, and then that sum is divided by two. So by toggling power off and toggling power in and out of your shields, you actually can manipulate which uh, systems get ioned and for how long. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Normally, I'd hack weapons in this scenario. Uh, I, I almost always hack weapons in a pulsar, but we're gonna go drones because this is actually way more terrifying than this in a pulsar. Okay, we're gonna turn off our oxygen. It's a little bit spooky, but as long as we have above 5% oxygen, we're totally okay. I'm gonna power up this. You know what, we can go ahead and go to one. We don't, actually, we only need one shield, technically. All right, we're gonna let the hack land. And now we can board. Um, I actually wanna take this offline because like I said, this is super dangerous. Like because they have drone control, you always have to actually weigh whether drones are more dangerous than their weapons. I think it's the drones in this scenario. We're gonna keep charging the heavy laser. And the idea being is when the pulsar is about to go off, we'll be able to fire our heavy laser here at their beam. Okay, let's 
go ahead and send our other crew this way. In fact, we're going to go ahead and send the NG. I just need the other body, and I just want them to get there. Rock will take a while. That's okay. So their beam weapon is already fired. This is also offline. Okay, so let's do some micro pauses. Again, using the uh, space bar and middle bounce button, we get little micro pauses like this. Here's the pulsar ring. All right, we're going to fire that at their weapons just to break this. Keep that offline. Now, it's most likely... It's pretty likely that this actually hits here. Um... But anyways, uh, but in case it doesn't, but in case it doesn't, we're going to go ahead and toggle off our shields to make it less likely that it's going to be hit. Then we're going to toggle this off because it's already fired its shot. And we're even going to turn off our engines. Okay, so what got hit uh, was our shields for five seconds and our engines for five seconds. All right, that's fine. All right, we got the hit and we got a breach. Excellent. All right, now we see that they have a human there over there as well. And we'll board two more crew. Okay, so they have a med bay. Um, and they already broke through our doors. That's fine. We're not in a rush. Because now that we have control of their doors, we got one. Lower. Bring it back on. Now we can just keep them trapped in this room. Like so. And we can just wait for them to come back. Because they're going to try to defend. Unless they're trying to actually do repairs here. Nope, here they come. All right. Close the doors again. So, yeah, they're trying to run away, but they can't. Because we control the doors. Got another NG. Okay. That's fantastic. Crew is uh, beneficial for us. Uh, because we're going to be sending a lot of crew over. So the often we're going to be unmanned on our systems, right? Because we're maybe going to board with a total of four crew, occasionally six. Uh, and so engines are great because they do the repairs of two people. Okay, so I'm going to put this NG on doors, and we're going to put this Mantis over here, so they don't have to walk nearly as far. Let's go ahead and get our second shield up. We can't do any upgrades because we're in a hazard. Also, we haven't been charging our engines. All right, so we just turned off things, and then we turned them all the way back on. That's all I did. So we can get out of here as fast as possible. So, yeah, boarding. There's a lot to do. So if you if there's a lot going on... Panicking is not helping, and playing fast doesn't help. Hit the pause button. Reassess. Come back to it. All right. So they do have a Zultan shield we have to get through. However, we don't take any damage from them. All right. So we'll fire up the heavy laser, and we just auto-fire here. We can go ahead and start move the NG over here to train. Now, this isn't really a training ship. We could train dodge because we can evade this. Um, but we couldn't train shields because the ion hits the shield system. Uh, doesn't actually do shield damage that uh, we can train off of. And beams always hit 100% of the time. So, again, you can't train off that either. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and board. Uh, things we are always concerned about when boarding, like so we've already established that we're safe, is whether they have an elevated door system. The doors are orange, so it's not. If they're gray, then we have something to be concerned about. And if they have a med medical unit, they don't. Uh, so, let's go ahead. I think prioritization is piloting, then shields. So, this seems like a good place to board. A shields crew member will come in here, walk here very slowly. Okay, so they have a rock crew member. Rock crew members are very exploitable. Watch, we run all the way up here, and that rock takes a long time to get there. All right, and we just run all the way back down. Pretty safe to do when we're already safe in the fight. Now, because this is NG, we really don't have to do this kind of stuff, but maybe it's like a human, or maybe it's a mantis. And now look at this. We get a 2v1. We had a 2v1 against the NG for a while, and now we just get it against the rock. Easy peasy fight. 
32 bucks. Um, I really don't want anything at the store, so let's get that weapon and let's go ahead and upgrade our reactor by two. Okay, so that's going to make it easier for us to power everything we need. Right, so this is generally what it's going to look like when we're boarding. Here's our support, here's our hacking to use that, uh, and our teleport system, but maybe we can't, right? So we're going to actually depower all those things, and then we can go to, like, this system. Because we're not, we don't have power in here and we don't have power here. So one, two, three. Um, I might just go to the store to buy drone parts. Because like, like I said, we should be fairly comfortable to win for a large portion of the game. All right, so this is an auto ship that doesn't actually have a uh, shield system. Bold. We'll just auto-target their weapons. We're not worried about our volleys or anything like that. I guess we can put crew in the shield system. Asteroid's already putting in work for us. Oh, putting in a ton of work. So we've got a breach here. Fantastic. That cannot be repaired. So that system is just broken for the rest of time. Okay. Gonna actually put my crew in the right positions. Distress, huh? Hey, the civilian ship. Chance at double rewards here. Okay. All right, they got a missile. This is a really good time to use a hack here. Um. So let's go do that. Wow, they got three power and weapons. Okay. So because we're going to hack their weapons, we're actually going to buy enough time for our two weapons to charge. But first, let's go ahead and board into here and try and break the system before anybody can interfere with us. All right, let's go ahead and do a hack. Nice. All right, we got the missile down. That's excellent. So our two shields are good for this. So let's stop. All right. If we keep punching down the system, maybe it swaps over to something else. Let's see what kind of crew they actually have. So they got a Mantis and an NG. This is an easy fight now. So we can depower our weapons and try a train like evasion. All we have to do is swap. Crew here, crew there. There we go. Now, like, say if it was two Mantis and it was a little bit gross, we could, like, run to a different portion of the ship, and we could actually just shoot them dead. 37 bucks, plus 23. Nice. 60 scrap. Go ahead, heal up. And we'll head to the store. We can heal up as we're jumping there. It's fine. What do you have? Clone Bay, backup battery. Breach missiles. Well, we already have small bombs, so we're, we're fine there. We don't really need that. Zoltan Shield Bypass. <sighs> yeah. That's super handy. Kind of like that. So... There is a possibility what you could do in this scenario. I, I'm i not as 100% sold on it as other people, but because we have these two systems uh, and the small bomb uh, with the Zoltan Shield bypass, like if we got clone bay um, to replace our med bay, uh, we essentially just can use our crew as cannon fodder and just like board with essentially impunity. Um, if our crew dies, we just clone them back. Uh, I don't really want to do that right now. Where I don't, I think we're going to dominate most ships as it is, and that's just completely unnecessary um, for the time being. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is buy up to the 14 fuel. I'm going to buy plenty of drone parts. 
Uh, we could also just uh, sell these weapons if you uh, wanted some more money. Again, I kind of like to hold on to them, but uh, we can get away with it. Like, once we have something that gets us through Zalt and Shields, we're generally fine. The only issue is they do have Zalt and Shields, then I can't hack. So I like to maybe keep that as an option if the fight is just, like, some disgusting thing I can't deal with. And so, like, getting rid of that issue versus, like, trying to make up for the... The benefit of the clone bait, to me, doesn't outweigh the effect that these things can have. Plus, also, punching down ships with clone bait takes forever. It's really boring. All right, I will lead you to your destination. Sure, happy to help. Head to these nebulas. Hi there. All right, three shots. We're not safe here, so that's okay. So we could risk taking damage here. It's likely that if all three of these shots hit, we do take a point of damage. All right, so the shields crew should come over and join. So we saw the pilot move. We got an NG and... A rock. All right. Okay, Angie's toast. Um, I don't want to use resources to prevent a single point of damage. That's just not particularly. I'll risk it. See what happens. All right. Thirty-six bucks. So as you play the game more, you're going to become more familiar with, uh, you know, weapon loadouts and assessing how da dangerous they are. So, like, I mean, a drone part cost me eight bucks, eight whole dollars, and a whole repair is like two to four. So sometimes you just take your lumps. All right, uh, 55 bucks. Let's go ahead and buy another reactor upgrade so we just feel a little bit more comfortable. Don't have to mitigate the power as much. And, hmm, what's next to prioritize? We could do hacking. O2 hacking, I kind of like more so than upgrading this. So you notice I'm not big on uh, upgrading engines. I mean, evasion's nice, don't get me wrong. Uh, but most enemy weapons are going to be fairly easy to deal with. Attack the pirate. Okay, again, we're not even taking any damage here. A human and a mantis, okay. Pause, send him out, send him back. Okay, if they started getting in trouble, we start running them around the ship. Twenty-six scrap and a halberd beam. Wow. So halberd beam is fantastic. Uh, if we didn't really have like uh, the pieces we needed for victory, halberd beam is an excellent, excellent pickup. Uh, because we also have, like, a three-weapon ship, uh, three-weapon slots, you normally want, like, two heavy projectile weapons, your burst twos, your flak ones, and then a, uh, like a halberd beam or a pike beam. Halberd beam is ideal. All right, so we are starting to get some training, which is nice. So as we get training, we're just that much more likely to win fights, plus we're able to end fights faster. That's really what we want. So let's get ourselves another backup system here and uh, go ahead and upgrade our hacking. So like if weapons are really gross, we can just delay them for a very long time. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three. I mean, that's four nebula jumps. Can I go one, two, three, four, two? So if I take this jump, it's just gonna move to there. Hmm. 
Hmm, I guess I should have bounced up top to here, sector routing, but then there was a store there. All right, so I think I take this one, then these two nebula jumps, and that. Hello there. All right, slaver ship. Slaver ship has a chance to give us stuff, uh, particularly crew. If we get crew kill, sometimes we even get to select them. Uh, they do have a missile, so we're going to attack the slaver scum. We're going to go ahead and hack their weapons. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delay, so we they have crew here and crew in shields. Okay, so it is Alito. Let's go ahead and board. And hack that system down. Let them fully charge. We get way more value with our hack if we let them partially charge before we hack them down. All right, so we didn't get all the way there. We didn't get the, that system broke, and they still have this uh, missile. What we could do here is we actually just move our crew to the engines. And now we just small bob that room. Now they can't, they had to punch all the way through this door again. So now their missile's offline and uh, they're both on way lower health. Well, if we wanted to, we could even send up our backup crew. Watch, if we send a crew to the shield room and we put our two crew here, this one's gonna keep fighting to try to get into the shield room. So they're actually not fighting our crew. None of our crew are taking damage right now. All right, you find the number of slaves in the cargo hold. We get one up. Uh, we already have a rock crew. Uh, we already have two NG, so let's go with the Mantis here. So that is going to be part of our second boarding group. So uh, we already talked about a little bit about how the AI prioritizes shields. So like shields is one. I think weapons and medbay tie for like second. Uh, then it's oxygen, piloting, and engines is basically dead last. Apparently, they don't care about their engines. All right, let's save those positions. Once we get these crew fully trained, we probably should swap off to that, those two crew and start getting them trained as well. Like, having fully trained matches just can erase enemy crew. It's awesome. One, two, three. One, two... Three. Okay, that's fine. If we take these three, we might be able to get these two jumps versus these three jumps, so I get potentially five. Assuming that that's not a dive there and I just screwed up. Okay, the civilian ship. Ha <laughs> ha, that'd be bad. All right, let's have fun. Let's hack medbay and board directly into medbay. All right, they got two crew, and now we're gonna hack medbay. So we're actually punching them while we're hacking them down. So we got the two kills. And now there's just one crew member left. Engines, can I get out in time? No, that's okay. Go ahead, help repair that. Uh, and they got a mantis. So that mantis eventually is gonna run to the medbay. Well, let's just slide down here. All right, there they go. But we still control the doors. So if you want to end a fight really fast, you can just board hack into the med bay. Lexi, hi. I guess you can go fix things as well. Unfortunately, that was actually a good time to use Yakety strats and... Uh, show some of uh, some other stuff I not as familiar with uh, on this difficulty what the AI ships are gonna have on them um, mostly curious just to get to shields 3 to be honest as far as prioritizing all right try to be a hero attack the pirate cool um, unidentified ship so 50 50 whether we get free stuff if if this was like a settlement or an outpost, 100% guaranteed, uh, this could potentially be a dangerous fight. They have hacking. Uh, they have some, uh, quite a few nasty things. All right, luckily this is a defense drone, so unless they hack our shields, we're not taking damage here. Nice. All right. So uh, yakety strats is what they're called, is where you just run around a whole bunch. So there's two crew there. 
we send them somewhere else and we just run around. Now, what's interesting is the AI has this weird rotation thing where it'll have two people fighting your two borders and it'll have one up in piloting. All right, so we got one and two. But if we move to this room, one of them would run to piloting. <gasps> what? No, come on. There we go. Depending on which rooms are adjacent, one runs to piloting and then they actually swap crew. This is pretty important. What this does, it means is, let's say we rotate down to shields. There's now no pilot when we do this. So if we wanted to be more likely to land our small bomb in a system, we wait for this rotation to occur. Again, it's hard to see. I don't have sensors. But we're getting advantages in these these fights. It's less because it's a pretty compact ship. But then we can just go ahead and board our second group, move our other two in here, and fight will be over pretty shortly. If you're at a disadvantage, then you want to board your two crew in. Um, oh, we get a store. Scrap recovery arm, reverse ion field, life form scanner. Oh, maybe I take life form scanner. I mean, it's not sensors. But essentially it will do four sensors. All right, and kite and kite them into the room just a little bit. As long as they're in the room, they, while it's activated, they still get the heals. Huh. Sure. Normally I wouldn't do this, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get that life form scanner. Um, let's get up to nine drone parts. Let's get up to my 14 fuel, because that makes me happy. Uh, let's assign... Let's assign this crew to shields. I don't think we sell anything. I don't see a reason to really sell anything right now. Uh, I don't want Scrap Recovery Arm. We are going to be making a ton of money. I'd rather just get to Shields 3 and be, uh, like, safer. Also, uh, who's fully trained? Okay, Rebecca, we're sending you out, and we're sending a new crew member in. Start training them up. Ooh, is that going to be enough? Barely. So I don't think we actually gained any jumps on it. Exit. Okay. Anticlimactic. Uh, mantis or mantis? Mantis. All right. So uh, we're in sector three. Uh, a lot of boarding ships. Like I said, they, they prioritize getting to Shield 3. Uh, the final system I also I want is cloaking. Cloaking is ideal. We want like another defensive system. Uh, you could use defense drone with drone control. Um, if you not, don't know, drone controls have a bit of a blind spot to this area, so it has trouble picking up projectiles. Like if there's a missile from here and it's targeting like these rooms, it might not register that it's like being shot at and allow it to hit where cloaking is just kind of like absolute. So that's normally what we want. But if we just go shields three, the idea is that we just tank up so no ships are threats to us. Uh, I don't even remember what the quest is. Again, we want to check our sector layouts because there's always the potential like you think a jump connects, but it doesn't. So one, two, three, four, five. There's also not going to be that many stores in this sector. Uh, it's one to two. Hi there. Let's you just made your ambush by... Oh, we walked into their trap. All right, so we see that they got a human, human, human. That's why I bought uh, lifeform scanners, just to give you an idea what enemy ships are. I would probably have just bought, like, Shield 3, but that's okay. All right, so this is a completely total safe fight. We're born into engines. All right, so we got the two crew here. But then we move here. See how the pilot comes now? And we get this 2v1, and then we just move back. So 
So if I bomb with like uh, a small bomb right here, like there's, we can manipulate it so there's no one in piloting. I don't have to do this. I'm just showing you it as an example. Oh, they have a repair bot. And we can send our backup group. All right, we'll just let them punch down systems, I guess. They get a little bit of training. If you want to go, like, hardcore on your uh, training, and I respect that. All right, let's see if there's a store nearby. All right. Use this key to return back to our rooms. Ah, oh, there's a distress. I mean, I have quite a few blue options with the rock, the teleporter. The only issue is if I go here, then, like, I can't really jump across. I have to, like, jump across there. Nah, I guess I can come back through there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, okay, you know, we can do so. Let's do so. Uh, all right, we have an NG here for blue options, $44. And now we can buy enough for cloaking. Uh, if we get up to 250 scrap, then uh, I will go ahead and upgrade shields. Like I said, either is fine. Going in for cloaking, going in for shields. Give you two fuel, get $46. All right, there's the store. Okay, so... We can have one, two, three jumps before we get there and then hit this at four jumps. One, two, three, and then four so that we can cross over here and we're safe. Maximize the amount of scrap that we have when we hit the store. Okay, nothing there, it's fine. Uh, I find the source of the distress call. Okay, we send in a rock crew member. This is a free augment, as long as you have the rock blue option. If we send our crew to put in the fire, put out the fire, we could lose crew. Uh, so I wouldn't do that. Clone Bay does give you an option, however. Uh, well, not an option. It's just that your crew just come back alive. Uh, if you needed more crew because you're a boarding ship, you could try to rescue the survivors. I think you can take some system damage, but uh, you don't lose any crew. But uh, free augment sounds just fine to me. Scrap recovery arm. Wow. Okay, I mean, we could hold on to that and just make a dumb amount of money. Mind control, clone bay, backup battery, and stuff I don't care about. So the only problem with holding on to scrap recovery arm is, like, if I get any other augments, I'm going to have to sell something else. Is there another store immediately nearby? No. All right, so let's buy all the fuel. Let's go ahead and buy backup battery, right? It gives us a chance that there's gonna be the cloaking system when we want it here. Uh, plus it just gives us temporary power. And let's also go ahead and get shields three. I guess that's it. Uh, we'll keep it anyways. I mean, like if I get something that's better than what I have here. Like, if we get sensors and I can just throw that out and buy sensors. Um, you're like, well, isn't it kind of the same thing? Yeah, but uh, sensors gives uh, an opportunity for the flagship to hack that versus something else. So, lifeform scanners doesn't give me the opportunity. And again, also frees up a spot. Uh, get, we're holding on to this because uh, later in the game, uh, once we've used up our small bomb to, like, help with the phase one killing of all the uh, flagship crew, save one. Uh, we're going to want to switch to the halberd beam for just the uh, outright damage output. Uh, demand the surrender of their goods. Nice. So these ships that are retrofitted, they're always running, but they also have a pretty high chance of giving us freebies if, uh, if we kill them without destroying their ship. Okay, let's go engines. All right, and let's do this rotation. So see, we're pulling the pilot, and what also that's doing, it's delaying their fleet jump. So look, there, it's not even charging. And so even though we only have like a level one teleporter, we're getting really good value here by slowing them down. And we have our two fighters taking on their three. 
Now, if you're curious, yeah, we could basically throw down the two Mantis, and they probably take out the two humans, and then the third one would die very quickly, no real issues. But where's the fun in that? Mort? Uh, I mean, Mort is trained, but again, I'd rather stick with... Oh, I guess I don't need three NGs. Two NGs and a Mort just to get the free weapons training? Eh? Sure. All right, whatever. Get into weapons. I mean, I'll probably still buy clone bay just to kind of show off clone bay strategies at some point. Um, but clone bay is potentially really annoying because you just kill off your crew a whole bunch of times. Like a lot of times. Uh, attempt to download the data stores, get 23 scrap. Okay. All right, well, there's the second store. We're very, very much not going to see it. So let's go ahead and let's get two of those and let's get level three engines. We still have plenty of money. Uh, but that's going to just make it a little bit easier for our, our reactor upgrades, get a little bit of dodging, our FTL charges faster. Uh, do I want to go fight in the sun? No, but I will. Okay, so three crew, Mantis NG. Uh, let's go ahead and hack here, get myself control of a room, because they do have elevated doors. We see that they're great doors. Okay, that's pretty good. Guess we should could have gotten level two teleporter, but. Um, go ahead and turn our battery. Oh, the NG got out there. Good for you, NG. Good for you. All right, so it's a little bit of an uneven fight right now for them, but we're just going to go ahead and leave the room. Seven, two. The borders are almost ready. How much health are you at? 22. Okay, so they don't die instantly to a fire. We send them out of the room, and then we send our other two in. All right, 44 bucks. No fire. So they have a shield bubble. They're, they could have fire. If there is one, we just move them out of the room. Hey, there is one. We move them out of the room. Go ahead and move them into the oxygen. There's other crew nearby. Uh, apparently, this is also on fire. Fun. Okay, I'm going to see if there's fires elsewhere on my ship. Nope. So, this it's pretty dangerous, right? Like, we I didn't want to... If you're wondering why, like, I didn't just shoot them. I don't want their hull lower than it already is. Um... Because there could be some random weird case scenario. That probably breaks. Nope, we got there. Okay. Um, so let's send that crew member into this room. And when they're about close, send this one. Now all my crew is in the exact same room. Bring them back. All right, our FTL is completely charged as well. And so what's nice is because we also have this double boarding crew, we can just have them ready to go instead. In case we had to jump again before the next solar flare goes off. Looks like we'll be okay. Asteroid field. An auto ship in an asteroid field. All right, well, we're gonna go weapons here. 
unfortunately, which I guess that's fine because we're not on cooldown yet for this. All right, three shields makes me feel like we're pretty safe and we can just get away with using weapons here. Uh, if we needed to use a hack, we could. But if this was a combat drone, I definitely would be using a hack. But this has to hit with an asteroid and another asteroid for us to take damage from the bean drone. Pretty unlikely. Okay, well, because the asteroid decided to do a little bit of work for us. Nice. Just go ahead and get that done. Let's see if we can just crack the shields. All right, and then we can just do whatever we want. So once the piloting was down, uh, thanks to the asteroid, like I said, we want to just try and sneak in that quick two damage with the heavy. And then if the shield goes down, the asteroids do a lot of the work for us. We're just out of here at the uh, easiest convenience. Still in a hazard event, back-to-back -back hazard events. You always have to be careful just because you can't get any of your upgrades. All right. Okay, uh, they're running. Um, we have three shields, though, so we are completely safe this fight. Um, let's go ahead and just hack here. Make it easy for us. Okay, level one piloting. So, uh, if you skipped my first tutorial, fine. Uh, but we're going to be... Uh, timing our volley so that it's as effective as possible. So we're not going to fire the heavy laser because their shield will just stop it. So we get the chain laser going. And once we hack the uh, piloting, their evasion drops to zero. So the two shots from the chain laser, one takes down a shield and the other one is going to hit the piloting for us. So we can hit that in a weapon. Could have hit shields. Should have hit shields. Would have been better for us uh, in the fight faster, but... We just keep doing that again. We don't have to worry about hacking now because they have no evasion. And we're out of here. Again, this is why I like using weapons versus the just using clone bay. If we had a clone bay, we'd send our crew over there. We punch the system down. Our crew would die. We respawn them with the clone bay. Go over, punch it down, and we'd repeat that ad nauseum. Um, yeah, we do win eventually. It's close, but not quite. I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Let's not risk it. No reason to. Uh, all right, so this is damage and dilapidated. Damage and dilapidated means, unless you have a level two med bay, uh, we lose crew. A clone bay doesn't even save them. So we're just going to scrap it, take some money. Money's good. Don't risk crew. Next sector, civilian sector. Great. Civilian sector is best sector in the game. Two to three stores. Nebula jumps to make out a little bit more money. All right, we got an Insta store here. All right, let's go to stress, double beacon, hit the store. Uh, the reason I want to do that way is I get a lot of extra scrap here. I get it like, like, so these have that fleet pursuit we've seen, right? It, it's in half because it's a non uh, Nebula named sector. So this is essentially one jump. So we get more value by going through nebulas. And that should slow it down that in case this is one of the other stores, we're able to pick it up. So the stores are located in non-nebula beacons. So it's actually just like this outer ring is where the stores are likely to be. Hail them. Uh, two, no, no, I don't want to trade away fuel here. I don't think there are really any blue options here. We can upgrade our teleporter. It does give us a little bit of safety. Uh, let's also upgrade this. Um, there's like a blue event you can get by upgrading piloting. I wouldn't do it in hard mode, but we're totally fine. We have plenty of scrap. We're just trying to maintain 150 scrap to get cloaking. Like that is the goal. Uh, we're in an ion storm. We lost some power. All right, so these weapons, as long as we have two shields, we're totally fine. Let's go with that. Oxygen online. Let's see, do they have any Autobots? Okay, so I'm just gonna board with them to show that you can win with two Mantis versus humans, particularly when they all, they do have some training. All right, drop that one to 36. This one's at 45. But now it's essentially this person's fighting against three plus Mantis. Again, if it gets close, do the uh, swap here. 
No medbay, no doors. Easy. 40 bucks. Also, it looks like we have another fully trained Mantis, so we're gonna go try and train the last two. Save that spot. Go ahead, get ready to jump. We want our shields at max before we jump, in case we just run into something that's like drastically lowering our shields, uh, like offensive combat drones, that kind of thing. Hey, we got a piloting blue option. All right, if you have a clone bay, this is 100% safe and 100% guaranteed to get rewards. Uh, this is like, there's a 20, 25% chance we don't get anything with this blue option. All right. Got a 33 plus 25 scrap. That's a lot of money. And uh, we'll just hit the store. Do need some fuel. Sometimes you get like that. There's just runs where you just don't get fuel. All right. Not using this. Bad stores are adjacent. Okay, well, I guess I don't get there in time. That could have been the second store. I wonder if it would show... I forget if it shows store or not. Um... Uh... Again, I'm pretty happy with small bomb. We could go ion bomb as well as additional support. I'm not particularly concerned about it. Uh, I really don't want to build into Vulcan. Vulcan, Vulcan is more of a meme than anything. It just takes so many resources and it takes so long to get it to run um, for like weapon ship builds. It's just better to have that uh, that first strike, alpha strike, hit their weapons, crush their weapons, and then you just win because they can't hurt you versus, well, in about uh, 30 seconds, you're going to feel something. Like, yeah, they get they get three, four, five volleys off before you get to interact with them in to any meaningful way. No, thank you. So keep as is. Keep as is. Buy all the fuel. Gang crew doesn't particularly interest me. Uh, we don't need to do any repairs. Uh, we could buy some reactor. I guess we've been kind of goofing around. We have a battery. But, uh... We also have, like, 270 bucks. Like, what am I else am I going to spend it on? I don't even know. Bum, bum. Ba -da -bum. I mean, there's blue options there. I guess dodge, in case I have to deal with missiles. Get a little bit of extra dodge evasion. Uh, if I got another one, though, that, that puts me a little bit too low to buy... Um, buy my cloaking. So some a lot of this is just kind of like feel. Like, hey, I just happen to have enough scrap that I can do this, so I am. So we pick up this jump, and then we bounce back around. I think that's better for us. Intruders on board, and they brought 49 scrap. Okay. Well, they're about to have a real bad time. Pretty easy. Just board into mid bay. You can fight him in the mid bay. All right, I'm going to run Rebecca out here. That's just so that these two crew get a little bit of additional training. A little bit of min-maxing. Okay, again, get back to our three shields and enough power to hop with one engine. Okay, nothing here. It's fine. Keep going. Ah, okay, it's another auto ship. Uh, we are completely safe because we have three shields. So there's no need to hack here. Uh, even though I need all of my shots to land to actually hurt this ship, because we have no chance of us taking damage, I don't see the real reason to do so. So we'll try to break their piloting. Once get their evasion down to zero, then we'll break down their other systems. But we could hack their 
uh, engines or their piloting, reduce their dodge to zero, so our shot's guaranteed to hit. Uh, we could hack their shields, drop their shields down. It's also fine. There we go. Got the breach. Nice. Okay, so the AI can't repair that breach. The system just stays broken. Uh, auto ships don't run if a fight starts going uh, not their way. Rebel ships will do that um, quite frequently. Some pirate ships. But not autos. If they're not running at the start, they're not going to. At all. Uh, continue. All right, I kind of want to see if these are a store, and then I can still make it back. I already know that's not a store. To hit this beacon to see if that's a store. Even if I burn a jump. Like, cloaking is just a bigger find for us than uh, maximizing beacons. No. Well, these didn't even bring crew to have fun with. All right, so yeah, they're going to go in the 2 by 2 room. I don't want to min-max training here. I guess it's a 2x2 two two with 4 crew. We also took some damage like as our crew moved into the room, so we're just going to keep it simple. Just keep it simple. It's really easy to deal with borders when uh, your uh, when your crew is uh, a little bit more nastier than they are. All right, so there's the store. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. We can dive here. I don't mind diving. Um, even if this was hard mode, I'd still probably do the dive regardless of what this is. Uh, because it's a nebula, beacon. Uh, there's no ASB. I don't think they have ASBs in easy mode. At least not on empty chumps. Wow, we can take damage this fight. Okay. Okay. A little tricky, but let's go ahead and we're gonna hack their engines. We're gonna be here for a little while. Let's go ahead and move this crew member over to shields so we get that buffer. Um, go ahead and bring back our oxygen. Okay, so the real threat here is actually from their drones. So let's hack our piloting. So their piloting hits zero. If uh, their weapons were more dangerous, we might have just hacked their weapons and uh, just tried to run away. We don't have to win all the fights. That's an important thing to know is sometimes you don't have to win all the fights. Uh, give yourself a chance of surviving, come back, try again. I don't even need power in this. Now, because we have a level 2 teleporter, we can board with uh, our crew. They can punch down a system and come back in time. I don't want to do that here because actually they'll last long enough to punch down two systems. Um, and then that ship is dead. And then my crew die because they're over there. And don't want that to have happen. Uh, okay, hit pause. Prepare for fight. I always hate how it does that. Wow, it's going with multiple ions and the missile and hacking. Okay, so let's... Because they have a missile. Okay, let's have two shields to deal with this. Without any dodge, eventually it'll get through. But I want to just try and slow down the missile. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, they don't have much dodge, and what we can do is just buy time by hacking their weapons down. Actually, let's go ahead and max our engines right now. Because, okay, so they already get the charge. They didn't do anything with it. Hack it down, buy ourselves some time. Chain laser to set up the heavy laser because it just deals more damage. Okay. Let's put everything back the way it is and we're fine because our weapons are busted. We 
again, uh, since we're really just looking for cloaking, if you wanted to spend, I don't know, some of that 200 scrap on buying some more power bars, you can go ahead. So the ion storms have your power uh, rounded down. So if you have an odd number of power, you actually get a little bit more than half, which is, you know, something worth considering. But also means like if you like upgrade one power bar, sometimes it doesn't matter. Oh, I should have just hit their uh, hacking. Good thing I didn't hack weapons and make this fight drag out even longer. 50 bucks. <laughs> it was like this little dent. Uh, one, two, three normal jumps. All right. So that flies here. One, two, three. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, I don't, I really don't want people to have to micro more than they need to. Uh, sensors, stuff, drones. Okay, well, I'll buy sensors because I want them. Oh, it's not even the right drone. So no, no thank you. Oh geez, that like room's just been open the whole time, hadn't noticed. Nice. Nice. Uh buy all the fuel again, apparently. I'm gonna go upgrade sensor so I can just I get line of sight of the enemies without having to actually board into them. Uh, that's just convenience. Also, surprise, surprise, level two sensors has a lot of blue options. Just does. All right, we got one more jump before the dive. Uh, is there anything else I want here? Again, I could spend another hundred bucks. Um, okay, let's upgrade weapons and get a power bar for that so we can sometimes just use small bomb in conjunction and we don't have to fiddle around with power as much. Uh, leaves me with uh, 40 plus scrap. Okay, seems good. Overcloaking. Demand the surrender of their goods. All right, they're running. Ooh, they got some nasty stuff over there. Cleaning a med bay. Ah, looks like a DD1. It's hard to see sometimes. All right, and that. Okay, first things first. Um, I'm going to board into... Drone control, level two, and I'm gonna hack their med bay, I think. Oh, I should have hacked weapons because they have a missile. That's, mm, okay. And I have to wait on it too. I had a plan. So I depower this because I'm waiting for these to have to fire at an angle so I can get it through. There, that's both shots. Okay. Uh, you two go there. Hopefully we get a dodge. We'll see. Oh yeah, I should have hacked their weapons to slow down their weapons. Good dodge. Making up for my mistakes. I appreciate it. All right, let's see if I can bust the weapons here. No. No, you say. All right, I'm gonna open up the doors. And then hack it down, and then we'll just small bomb. Nah, I got the second fire off. That's fine. Again, the first mistake was just not hacking this right thing. But we don't have to panic. We're okay. Go ahead and help that. Uh, it's a level one med bay. Uh, we can actually outpace it. Okay, 36 trap and a burst. Nice. So that actually replaces this very easily for us to give us a way faster volley. Way faster volley. Uh, you took 15 points of damage. How are we doing training wise? Eh, I mean, we're 
getting there. You always have the option, if you find, like, a fight that you're just completely safe and just sit there and train, gain experience off of it. Uh, I don't remember there really being anything at the store that I care about that I'm going to go over to and deal with, so. I get the life form scanners just because uh, if I do end up in a nebula, I guess I can still use it. Whatever. All right, so we're not gonna screw up here. We're definitely hacking weapons. So again, this is a little bit unfortunate. We've had plenty of money. We hit two stores just trying to find cloaking. We didn't get exactly what we want, but we're gonna make the best of it. Uh, ooh, actually, I can't even get through their shields right now. Okie doke. So yeah, these weapons don't even help in this matter. Uh, so we might just run, it's possible. Get the small bomb here. Get it ready. All right, board two though. We have time. Okay, we'll start that hack. Send the other two. So now that they're coming to board, I think it's actually better for me to just to small bomb here. Okay, so that breaks their clone bay. So clone bay would keep bringing their crew back, but now that it's offline completely, they're just considered dead. Plus we got uh, 30 quick damage in on that crewmate. All right, and we're gonna send two crew here to try and finish them off, hopefully before this fires. Nice, okay. Okay, also, maybe we could have jumped before that happened. Bring our crew back. That was a little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're sort of following along, it, you might be uh, of the persuasion, like, wow, like, we're just so much more powerful than what I normally am. Uh, that's the benefit of, you know, A, I just have, like, a lot of experience, but the thing is, is uh, often people just... They don't hit all the jumps, so they're not making as much money as they can, or they kind of spend money a little bit frivolously. Ah, <sighs> Uncharted Nebulas. I hate Uncharted Nebulas. Rock Home Worlds. Yeah, we'll go Rock Home Worlds just to go Rock Home Worlds. Okay, so is there an immediate store? No. I am going to go ahead and upgrade my engines to level 5. This is another reason I'm okay going here. There is an event. It's a, a mine that deals damage and like just kind of like instantly kills one of your crew. Super annoying. Um, but if you have level 5 engines, you have a way to just evade it and not deal with it. If you also have a non-hull missile missile weapon, you have... You can just kind of shoot it down. I think a beam drone also has that option. Clone Bay also makes it kind of safe, though you can take a bunch of hull damage. Engines just, you can just evade it. Um, it's a lot, it's, a, it's sometimes a lot to get this to level five, particularly if you get the uh, rock sector in like sector two. Uh, it's one of the most hated events just because it is just completely RNG based. Like sometimes you just load crew and you can't do anything about it. Hey, speaking of which, base of maneuvers, let's go. Um, okie doke. Well, they got a missile, they got hacking, we got two shields. Uh, small bomb is inherently not enough. So what's the best way to kill this ship? I guess we could shield hack. Okay, we'll just board into that. Shield hack. I'm, I'm pretty much gonna eat a missile one way or the other, so. Well, that was overkill. Nice, we dodged the Artemis. 
Okay. Well, this is pretty easy because we, like I said, we kind of control these rooms here. Now, the only issue is that rock might escape. So what we're going to do is we're going to move out. And I'm going to kind of show up a strat. It's, it's going to look a lot safer than normally it would because we have the shield sack. But, like I said, the AI prioritize sh defending shields. So if I move these two mantis in and out of the shield room, like, they just defend it. So this one's trying to stop them from punching down the med bay, but it can't. Because as soon as we come back into the room, they go defend it while the other one's trying to repair it. So we can essentially buy time for crew members to slide on over there and punch down the med bay by abusing how the AI prioritizes what it defends against. And so we didn't need to do like another volley. We could have, but it's another way to like save on say your bombs, missiles, whatever. Store, nope. All right, let's get power. I mean, actually, I mean, I have battery power. It's fine, but we can just keep buying reactor. Again, less micro for you. You can go always try and push yourself by having like one or two less micro uh, or one or two less power. I mean, like I said, I have the battery, so I think that's fine. Um, I often turn off oxygen when I'm in a fight. Anyways, uh, let's just keep going. Okay, so this beacon will show me if those are stores and then cuts back down to pick up this potential. Oh, that's already no, it's not that that's not a store. But it lets me get to that one, then back up. Yep. Hello there. Okay, it's four shots against 39% dodge. It's pretty safe. So again, we could move crew here, pull that pilot. Ah, uh, didn't get there. They had uh, elevated piloting, that's unfortunate. We could try small bombing. Yeah, exploiting the uh, slow rocks plus the uh, that piloting uh, movement. So we're like mixing our uh, tactics up, combining them as we need. How are we doing? Yeah, we're getting there. 56. How are we doing on our backup Mantis training? Partial, partial. Yeah, we've been sending the four over. Sure, we can go to the Distress. Um, I do have an NG here. Well, you all promise to help. Get max scrap. No immediate store. So, like, I, the reason I don't get this is because that drops me below cloaking, and I want to always have that available. So, we can upgrade our hacking here. I guess that's pretty reasonable. Can I have the battery power if I need that little extra something something? It's two stores in the sector. Uh, A, the Federation ship. All right, not completely safe, but fairly safe. Oh, no. Nope, everything has changed. Everything has changed. We're hacking drones immediately. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. As soon as this tries to go, we're going to hack... Oh, we're going to hack. Wow, all the dodges. And none of their stuff broke. Oh, that's Garbo. Okay, we got at least one breakage. 49. Uh, thank you for saving us. The ship is transporting Federation, but I can form you a hidden Federation base. Okay, sometimes that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
300 scrap. I can buy two cloaking systems. All right, like I said, take this beacon. Oh, geez, that's the quest. I don't think I can ever overtake a store. All right, one shield, two shield, completely safe. Exploit slow moving rocks. No med bay, no door system. Easy. Lexi, get out of here. I don't want you. Just combat trained human. You think you're gonna board? You think you're gonna do something? Uh, double store. Okay. Uh, I'm okay diving, I think to max value of the sector. So like we pick up this beacon, we might be able to like go like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, no, I don't. Never mind. I'll just take the store. I thought that one connected to the exit. No, there it is. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so what am I gonna... I don't need... Like, we have everything. Do I need this? If I'm going... No, I guess I don't need that now. Guess I don't really need it now. Like, I guess that's fine for phase three. Like, that other thing was slower. This is, like, more guaranteed damage. So I'll take it. Um, it's not like a big deal. So, am I still keeping all this stuff? Do I sell lifeform scanners? No, I should sell lifeform scanners. We already have upgraded sensors. All right, uh, we have cloaking. So let's go ahead. We upgrade our cloaking to level two. And then uh, let's upgrade our shields to level four. All right, there we go. Feeling pretty safe now. And... Uh, Somehow keep buying fuel. Normally you get extra fuel out of storage. It's like a reward. 23 hull, plenty fine with 23 hull. Uh, oh, I guess we're going to a vacant store. Should have gone to this store before I bought the uh, shields for. Should have. Oh, breach two. Oh, that's perfect. No. Awesome boarding weapon. Oh, well. Make mistakes. Keep going. One, two, one, two. Oh, uh, we're immediately measured by opposing rock war vessel. Uh, I really don't want to do the quest. It's kind of an annoying quest. I can't believe we get the bump before. So this will kick the quest over the next sequence. It's like two jumps where nothing happens. I'm ignoring them. Either one of these starts the quest if you want to get it, but it's... No, I don't want to bother with it. Like, the thing about these particular, like, a lot of the quests is where, or, like, multi-part quest is like, okay, so it puts the beacon in next sector. I go to it. I let them run away, which is what you're supposed to do while you stay in a sun. And then you have to go find the next beacon after that. And it's so possible, like, that second beacon just spawns in a completely unobtainable position. Heck, the first one can even do that. So just ignore it. Don't even spawn it. Don't. I'm not going to bother with it. You want the quest? Go for it. Uh, sure. Have 15 missiles. Reconstructive teleporter. Oh, that's super interesting. Maybe we'll, we'll go clone bay. Okay. Plus, that's, like, 35 scrap. Good thing we got rid of that uh, life form scanners store. No, I don't really need a store right now. All right, so we're just gonna be buying some reactor here. Uh, attack. You have no shields. Do you know this? Wow, 
that's really long. Okay. So let's show you this. We're going to try and punch down their piloting. It has to be a level two. If you do this with level one and your crew only have 100 HP, they're goners. Let me just try and see if I can lower their dodge here. They're fine. Still fine. Until this potentially cracks our, our second shield. Actually, let's take down three shields before we take any damage. All right. Okay, let's see if we can get in there. Good. So their health drops to basically nine. All right, we're gonna use micro pauses here. We need to get them out. Yeah, so you can see nine health and nine health. That was just, that was mostly just to show you what that is that it can be done. You don't want to do that in a situation where, like, your clone bay or your, uh, your teleporter could get hit and then they're just dead, because that's no good. I also have to be careful because, like, if that, if your time, if you're too slow on the first teleport over, um, like, that ship just cloaks and your crew is stuck there. Oh, wow. Early map. <laughs> Another store. Okay. Uh huh. I understand. Actually, we saw that one, didn't we? Didn't we already see that one? Yeah, we already knew that. All right, I'll take the distress. Weird sector layout is weird. Giant alien spiders, no go. Yeah, going to the store with 30 bucks. Not, not cool. Not cool. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that even five? One, two, three, four. I don't think so. I think it's like four jumps. Two. Eh, fuel, I guess. I don't know. Burst two, if you wanted to burst two. I don't. Normally you don't have to buy this much fuel, but so it seems to be the case, so keep buying fuel. Uh, attack the pirates. Hey, we're totally safe here. Uh, they also have four crew, so yeah, we're gonna have to go uh, into the paint. Uh, Hack med bay, I guess. I did that about as slowly as possible. Let them through. We wanna just control the doors as they try to punch it down. Okay, now I'll fight him in the med bay. If I move him to there, all right, there we go. Hey, got seven hole repair, nice. That worked out really well. Retrained? Yes. All right, well, no stores. Let's buy a couple comforting reactor upgrades. Okay, so some people get upgrade teleporter for this blue option. I don't like it. It's not even guaranteed that you pick up extra crew here. Um, I don't know. Can I get a select from this? I get Liam. Hi, Liam. Fully trained in engines. I already have a crew trained in engines. All right, you're free to go. You enjoyed your stay. Um, let's go ahead and hack their weapons here because they do have a missile. Three, four. Wow, they even have five shots. Okay. Ships are getting a little more serious here. Got to respect it. board. Get ready to send up the second group. All right, we're going to hack it down before the first weapon charges. And 
what we can do, we could, uh, let's just start feeding on this crew member too. It's a good advantage for us here. Swing to here, and then we just go four crew into shields. And again, we just pretty much erase that rock's health. 71 bucks. And because we apparently picked up the, uh... This. So if you don't know, Regis are, heals our crew when we send them and when we heal when we return them. So it's just saving us a ton of time in terms of uh, having to like heal crew. It's fantastic. I wouldn't spend seventy bucks for it, but we can do that. Uh, blockade pirate ship, nice. Don't guarantee double rewards here. Attack. Okay, they have mind control. It's level two mind control. It's a little bit scary. One, two, three, four. But it's just a bunch of NGs. Now, there was a time where I hacked mind control, and as soon as it uh, it gained power, they were able to hack again. That should never have happened, but apparently it actually does. I was not happy about that particular revelation. Okay, we'll start. Um, so we're going to just distract them. I know it's level 2 because I had 117 health versus their typical 100. But they're an NG, so they're not going to do that much damage. And we're just buying some time here. Because they don't have a med bay. Okay. Against the, we didn't even 48 and 31. Yep, so another 70 so scrap vent. Go ahead, get another reactor upgrade. <sighs> I might dive here, like. These nebula jumps could just be pretty valuable. I don't need the money. Ah, uh, attack the ship. Well, we had life form scanners. Uh, yep. Mantis and an NG. Okay, we're gonna run around here. The reason we're doing this is because they got a med bay. So we can actually do like nice little circles. All right. We're gonna send those two there and board here. Oops, go ahead. You two come down here to doors and then back. All right, so our two mantis are gonna be punching down their mid bay while we're doing this. We could just small bomb them, totally true. Because uh, we have Zoltan Shield Bypass, our bombs go through it as well. Yeah, oh. Hello there. That seems unnecessary. That seems unnecessary. Okay, one, two, three, four. I have to get there. I want to get. I don't want this to be a dive. So that's one nebula jump, that's a second nebula jump, that's a third nebula jump, that's a regular. So nebula, nebula, regular here. I think that's okay. But I didn't think I, if I pilot. Jim Foe. Um, I already have a trained pilot. Where were you? Get dismissed. One, two... Than a normal jump. Yeah, let's not push it. Let's not push it. Continue. Okay, make sure our oxygen's back up. Uh, one, two. We can count dashes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, that's no, that's no good. It's no good. Hello there! All right, forward scout, they're gonna run at the start. Uh, no hacking, no med bay. DD2, fairly safe fight. Wow, 
not really in a rush. We'll just, like, once we win this fight, we'll send the other two borders in and we just win. If our shields start dropping too low because of the combination between this and this, which is we get down to, like, two shield bubbles and this is about to fire again, um, we'll cloak. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, uh, let's put the fresh troops there, shall we? Shall we? Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's just go ahead and get level three teleporter. Another power bar. Uh, do, do, do you want to upgrade doors just to be safer? And go ahead, put that crew in the shields, I guess, since we have doors and upgraded sensors. It's whatever. Hi there. Okay, so you're only starting to missile, so I don't even need shields here. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna board immediately, so they don't they don't try to board my ship, perhaps. Okay, they did because they're jerks. Uh, looks like they're in my battery. They don't have a med bay. Okay, we're gonna drop this power back. Uh, that way we can just cloak forever. Okay, so they couldn't return even though they were already low on health. Um, I'm gonna have to heal them up. Because we were cloaked, so that prevented them from being able to jump back. I was thinking about like bringing this crew back just to fight them, but apparently didn't need to. Boop. Let's go ahead and dive. So the only thing we get from winning this fight is a fuel. Uh, so we could just hack their weapons and run away. So let's just go do that. Hack their weapons and run away. Now we can just do a level three cloak. Now we can just jump. Uh, sure, rebel stronghold. Yeah, I can't, I can't upgrade any more power right now. Insta store. Uh, what could I get for 90 bucks? I don't think I, one, two, one, two, three, four. So the Rebel flagship fight is in a non-Nebula Beacon jump. Clone Bay. Do I want the Clone Bay? I have everything else. Plus I have the Reconstruct Teleporter, so it, this is way less nauseating. Way less nauseating. Sure. Don't have to, but... Go ahead and just upgrade it. Three, four... Pretty safe fight. Do I want to hack here? I mean, I don't gotta hack probably should hack, but... Uh, let's cloak, in case those flax are enough. Slide the old small bomb in there. Offline, safe. Hey, we could add triple small bombs. That's a thing, apparently. Why not? Ah, 
asteroid field. Auto ships. Um, uh, pretty sure we should cloak. We should hack something here. Two shots can set up the heavy laser. Does two damage to their weapon system, which will take one of these ion weapons offline. That's, I guess, fine enough as it is. As it, that is. Oh, fun! That can happen. Asteroid actually collided with our. Uh, I just went there. Multiple ion weapons gets really scary. It's okay. Don't want to use any more bombs than that, though. If we started taking too much ion damage, we just would have cloaked. Nice, asteroid being a pal. Love asteroids being a pal. Bum, bum. Mm -hmm. GG's. 55 bucks. Uh, forward scout. Uh, okay, they got a missile. That normally makes me want to hack their weapons. Okay, here's the shot. Turn off the drone. Bring it back. Okay. Battery. Send. First group. Second group in prep. Go ahead, hack this down. Okay. Okay, pilot gets pulled. No more dodge. Uh, I guess just a small bomb. So again, our weapons really can't deal with like three shielded ships very well. Uh, we're just running mostly on small bomb. We're using these weapons when we just deal with an auto ship. No, oh, this is like unnecessary. I forgot that they were still trying to punch against that door. 65. Come on, do it. Hey, nice. Baby flagship fight. Okay, that's cool. The only real danger here is the missiles. So this is interesting because this is actually how the uh, hard mode one where these rooms are connected. That's funny. All right, so we're gonna hack missiles here. And what you're seeing here is actually the strategy you would use on hard mode against the flagship, and that's the missile room hack. So between the cloaking and the hacking, the missiles are completely negated. And now I just need three shields to deal with this, and we're completely safe. And we have a room to board into to go for a crew kill. Okay, we'll go send them over there. Back it down. All right, we already dealt one damage, so actually we don't even need the hacking anymore now. Just, um, let's see if we can yolo a bomb in there, save ourselves a little bit of trouble. Nice. Hey, you're asphyxiating. You can stop doing that now. As if they were doing it by their own choice. Okay, we'll just board in here. That's interesting. It was only a level two med bay, not a level three. Okay. Nion bomb, 77 scrap, and two extra jumps in the sector. Fantastic. Bring them back, bring them back. Everyone's fully healed. I think the clone bay will heal them next jump anyways. Uh, that... That, I guess. Of course, I actually had to get non nebula jumps to get full value out of it, which is kind of disappointing. Like, if I take these, that's only like delays it by one jump. Which feels bad. Feels bad. Still, it is two jumps for one. Uh, teleporter. Hi, I'll take 64 bucks. I don't need you, though. Get dismissed. 
I guess it makes sense that I take this jump. That gives me more value this than down to here. Value. There's some scrap anti drone drone. One, two. Oh, I can't get there. Oh, but I can go back up to there. All right, and those actually connect. Nice, nice. Uh, I'll fight ya, apparently. Three shots. All right, well, here's three shields. Absolutely nothing else do I need for defense. Oxygen. That's it. Might as well board. Go ahead and keep our clone bay online just to make certain everything is copacetic. Then we only need two shields. My problems are actually going to start adding shields, but we got a breach here, so this isn't going to be repaired. So we'll go after shields this time. Get that awesome training that we don't need. Shh. Got another breach. So actually, we could just almost sit here and train to fight. Oh, they got a shield up. Oh, I fired my weapons incorrectly. Poor Shane. Good. $71. Okay. I don't know. I'm just putting points into things. We should probably think about upgrading weapons. I do want to get that. Uh, Halberd online. One, two... Three, four, five. Intruders on board. Oh no. Okay, so they're all right. Well, we'll just kill them. That's fine. Uh, our shields deal with those weapons, and we can just level one cloak this, and we're completely safe. Two more borders are coming over, though. Wow, that's super nice of them. I'm gonna go ahead and hack their med bay. Fun. Board. Somebody do. Bring them both back. Okay, so let's say I didn't have a reconstructive teleporter. What I'd have to do is every single fight, I would have to move my crew over here and then open up the uh, airlocks and kill them and then respawn them back here because it's imperative that my borders have 100 health uh, most of the time. Uh, it's a very long, it's an arduous process, but that's how you keep them maintaining their full health every single jump. Store. Repair long range scanners. Ah, oh, that's a little bit late for those, don't you think? You can have this, you can have this. Uh, you can have that. I mean, I guess I could have saved it. You want know scrap recovery arm here? Um, we get 10 fuel when we leave the sector. One, two, so I don't need to buy more. Investigate. Aww. Probably. Yeah, 15's fine. Gotta upgrade that up too. 
Um, okay, one, two, three, dive, why not? You mean, for sanity reasons, we don't have to? Yuck, okay, get out of the room. Ah, uh, yep, yeah. okay, no, you didn't get punched, good. Three shields, uh, I guess I got a shield hack to get through here. We are completely safe, though. So, hit their shields first so I can get through with all my other weapons now without having to hack. Quit it! Stop being jerks! Uh-huh. Okay, it's fine. They should heal for the most part this next jump. Oh, Rebecca's a little bit short. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to fight this. I'll just take 32 bucks and be happy with it. Take 32 bucks and be happy with it. Uh, just gonna hack and run. Yeah, I know. We could easily kill this ship. It's not challenging. It's just time consuming. Stand. Stuff happens. Okay, uh, like we really don't need anything. We can just go to the base. I mean, I need 100 scrap to fully upgrade the ship. It's not particularly important. Sure. Oh my gosh, five fuel. Yes. I mean, I don't need it, but five fuel chat. You can't turn down a deal like that. Gross. Okay, so we want a weapons hack here because I don't want those missiles to fire. No. Well, that's fine. Okay. Like, this firing is totally okay. Like, it has to win five coin flips in a row to hit us. Could still happen. But now that their missiles are offline, I really don't want to shoot them in the weapons anymore. 71. I took this beacon, so, because I get to choose between these two to connect with this one, and then we can just hop to the base. So we take the top one, again, those two also connect to the base, so we have a lot of routes to get there. Hello there, Ion Intruder. Uh, I don't think so. Oh no, it's just a boarding bot. Less of an issue. Also, remember to put your crew back in the right positions. Oh, you get there. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we'll board. We'll move our crew in, and again, I don't, I don't want this uh, bot to punch a hole into my ship, so we're just gonna cloak it. I don't want it to do it. There we go, another 17 bucks. All right, we come on back. Let's go ahead, full upgrade, huzzah! Go into the base. Okay, you got missiles. I'm just hacking weapons. I mean, if it, if it has missiles, I'm just like you're gonna. You should hack weapons. I don't. It doesn't have a med bay though. Looks like it's a breach. I also don't want this to fire. Oh. Not done. Almost. 
So you only actually need one of your crew in position in here to teleport, and then everybody else in the room just goes. Go for a really long time. Get everyone back. Okay, so it's the flagship. I'm gonna want this. All right, so we're gonna fight the flagship. Uh, normal, easy, boarding is ridiculously strong against the flagship. We should be pretty able, pretty easily able to handle it. Um, one of the things that you should uh, prioritize though when you do fight the flagship, if you're gonna be going boarding strategies is upgrade your teleporter. Um, Cause you can actually, if you have level one teleporter, they'll just keep bringing your crew back if it gets hacked. But if you have it up to two or three, you can depower it. Uh, between certain cycles so that uh, when the AI hacks it, it doesn't bring your crew back. All right, this is it, Rebel Flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, Federation fleet will have a chance to survive, and there's no turning back. What are you hacking? Okay, it's not great, but we'll manage. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna board into the missiles and take the missiles offline. Now, in hard mode, we normally do, like I said, we did on the first flagship, the baby flagship, which is do the hack and board. But this room isn't actually connected to the ship, so we're, we're not going to hack anything right now. I'm just going to put all my power into engines right now. Uh, we'll just level three cloak that. And we'll board here. Board into the ions next. Nice. Uh, triple ions coming. That's unfortunate. Because those are all going to hit. Okay, I'm going to put a small bomb here. All right, they dodged. Potentially happens. Okay, got one of the dodges. Nice. Nice. And now we board here. We don't bring them back yet. We just board here. All right. I'll just cloak that because it's the only thing left to cloak. So once we break this weapon, that's it. Go ahead, bring him back. Okay, so now that's it. We have three shields. This ship cannot harm us at all anymore. It's not possible. Unless you turn your shields off. Uh, so you just find something in their ship that you want to hack. And that's where you're going to board into. Uh, we can hack doors. It's fine. If you didn't have hacking, uh, you would need something to try and deal with their med bay. Uh, you also could potentially hack into their med bay and then fight them in there. I think this is just like cleaner and easier. So let's just board into the door system. Go ahead, let them in. We win these fights. All right, gonna bring back our original crew. With a clone bay, we can, this seems like a little bit risky, but we actually win these fights pretty easily. Again, they're gonna try to run away. All right, we can now bring them back. Might as well, no reason to risk them. Okay, so we have three more crew left to kill. Can't wait for the two to go in. Close the gate. Bum, bum. Oh, they got through. Oh, uh, well, we'll see if we can sneak in a bomb here just to finish them off. Nice. 
Uh, they're gonna run away. We're gonna hack their doors so we actually control them and they can't run away and finish them off. It's kind of the reason I did that. Okay, so what we can do now kind of show you what clone bay boarding strategies are available. So kind of why I prefer to have weapons of actual uh, merit. All right, there we go. So if you had a clone bay, you decided, I don't actually want weapons. I mean, we use small bombs just because it's convenient, but we put our crew here. So as soon as the uh, crew here and holds these weapons out. Now what we have to do is we actually have to kill this person off. Then the AI takes over and everything starts slowly being repaired. Okay, and then by your crew is always able to punch those systems down before um, they're a problem. And eventually as you completely break a system, you do a whole point of damage. But with this immersion, we're leaving them alive so we don't need to do that thing. Instead, like I said, we just pick up a whole damaging weapon. Just one. It's all you really need. And that's it. I guess we got to train shields there. But anyway, that's where you would uh, normally distribute your crew. All right, we're just auto firing. So now we don't have to deal with borders in phase three. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, let's move everyone back. All right, so these crew crew are gonna have a, a job of punching down the missiles for us. All right, we're just gonna wait. Uh, wait again. Oh, thanks for reminding me. That. That's better. Technically, we don't even really have to board, but wait again. All right, so phase two. Uh, phase two, now we don't have to worry about the cloaking, the hacking, or the door system. Uh, we have this drone system now. So they're gonna have two offensive drones, a boarding drone, and a defense drone one. Plus there's gonna be a surge where a bunch of drones show up and try to shoot at us. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna board into the missiles. So these two uh, Mantis will actually break the system. Or actually, if we had two untrained NGs, they would break the system before the missiles even have a chance to fire. So that's part one of our plan. And now we can essentially hack anything. If you don't, if you think drones are really scary, you can hack drones. If you want your weapons to be more viable, you can hack shields. It really isn't gonna matter too much. So let's be safe and hack drones here. Just kind of show you what that looks like. Again, if you've seen my other video, you, you know how the uh, other way goes. Oh gosh, landing in sensors. All right, we'll just do a level three hack. And we'll board into drones and start punching them down. Here comes the surge. Cloak the surge. Bring back our two crew. 
Pretty straightforward. Let's do another level three hack. Just try to break, ooh. Uh, my evasion wasn't very good there for a second. All right, I want this level three just so we can board with them. And we can board them into shields. Start the fun there. Slowly but surely, their ship is weakening. All right, we don't need to teleport anybody now, so we'll just depower this. Max our dodge. Surge comes. Cloak it. Yeah, so with four drones and a surge. Not very spooky. Auto fire off, please. Okay, well, we don't need the power in hacking, so we can just put power in everything else. Uh, four. Easy peasy. All right, so this next part gets a little bit annoying because they do have mind control. Uh, I get the engines to repair this. So we, that is something we have to deal with. There, refill all of our oxygen. So our hacking isn't live for a little bit. This is where we're going to use, like, a ton of power. All right, let's jump into the flagship, though. The reason we jump into the flagship is we screw something up, something somehow, some way goes bad. We can always just jump back to the base, fix everything up, restart, try again. Okay, so who gets mind controlled? All right, let's stick our other Mantis crew member here. Battery, get this to full power and just board into their weapons. All right. And because we actually have the uh, reconstructed teleporter, we're gonna distract them a little bit so they just don't fully break the system. But yeah, level three MC Mantis, Whew. they're nasty. If you wanted to, you could just switch back to the small bomb and just keep trying to land the small bomb in here, but it is level six engines. It's level two in phase one, level three in phase two, six here. I didn't really mention it because, again, like the weapons hitting is not particularly important. The boarding strategy is just so completely dominant because these rooms are isolated. All right. Uh, turn off the auto fire. Let's cloak. Oh. So we want to do a level three cloak here. And because we slowed down the missiles enough, it should make it so we time very, very well with those, uh, the surge. And as soon as the surge passes, fire our weapons. Nice. Excellent. Aren't you tired yet? Okay, well, we broke that. Here we go. Uh, we can break the mind control. And the system we haven't even used yet in phase three, we have hacking. We'll just hack their shields. Hack it all the way down. Here comes the surge. All right, now we just need level one cloak for this. That's it, that's all we need. As soon as you hear that sound, go ahead, hit it. Um, I guess we, we can do this. So that means it's evasion is now zero. Who got mind controlled? My NG? All right, it's down to level one. That's fine. We could shoot it, which kind of shoots our own crew, but to make sure that that garbage is just over. That was a little bit slow. Bring two back. Oh, maybe our cloaking wasn't quite up in time, so we'll just go max evasion here. All right, didn't get hit. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Um, whatever. Let's bring our other two crew back because we're not monsters and just leave them over there to die. That sounds horrible. GG's. Flagship fight. 
All right. Um, so yeah, we got the reconstructive teleporter wasn't key. Just saved us the time of not having to kill off our crew, uh, to reactivate the clone bay. Um, but we, you saw, we, we didn't, none of our crew died there. None of our boarders died there. So even if we had a med bay, we could just bring them back and heal them. It was just way more efficient the way we had that set up. Uh, if we didn't have a Zoltan shield bypassed, we would have been a little bit more aggressive in procuring weapons and holding on to weapons that would better deal with taking down that Zoltan shield. But once that got online, we really just throw out that strategy and you saw uh, how that goes. 49, 96, 46. Uh, yeah, so again, hit the 100 beacons, about 40 or so ships defeated. Uh, a stupid amount of scrap. Uh, you get a lot of scrap in easy mode. And uh, yeah, that's uh, essentially straightforward boarding strategies for FTL.